Okay, guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem, which says that the 20 Newton horizontal force acts on the handle of the socket wrench. Determine the moment of this force about point O. Specify the coordinate direction angles alpha, beta, and gamma of the moment axis. So we are given this 20 Newton force and uh, it is acting in the xy plane. It, the, the plane in which this force is lying is parallel to the xy plane. And this 20 Newton force is making a 60 degree angle with, the, with this line which is parallel with the y axis. So if we resolve this 20 Newton force into its component, so it will have uh, this f of y component. This one will be 20. Uh, this one will be 20 cos of 60 degrees and then it will have f of x component. This will be f of x component since it is parallel to the x axis. So this will be 20 sine of 60. So we can represent this force f as a Cartesian vector. So that force f will be. So this is the f of x component and it is acting in the negative uh, in the positive x direction that is in the positive i. So I will write 20 sine of 60 into positive i. And similarly, this component is acting in the negative y direction. So that is in the minus j direction. So this is minus 20 cos of 60 in the minus j direction. So 20 cos of 60, 20 sine of 60 is 17.32. This is 17.32. 3 to i minus 20 cos of 60 20 cos of 60 this gives us 10 right so this is plus 10 j so this is the cartesian vector representation of the 20 newton force and now since we want to find the moment about point o so we need to take the cross product so the moment about point o will be equal to the cross product of r and f and this moment arm is the position vector from which must be starting from the from the point of rotation so this position vector or moment arm must be from o to e or any point on the line of action of this force so for this particular case let's define that this is our moment arm or oa so we will write that this is our OA and this is that F. So first of all, we have to find this our OA, uh, the moment arm, which is the position vector from O to A. So I will write our OA, the position vector or the moment arm from O to A. So this is equal to, so to, to write this position vector, we, uh, as we can see that that point A is 200 mm away from this origin along the Y direction. So to reach that point A from O, we need to travel 200 mm in the, in the positive Y. So I will write, and 200 mm in meters is 0 0.2 meters. 200 divided by 1000 is 0 0.2. So along X, this point A is at a distance of 0 0.2. Uh, along Y, this point A is at a distance of 0 0.2 meters from uh, that point O. So we need to travel 0 0.2 meters in the positive Y. So I will write plus. 0 0.2 j and then once we reach here then we need to travel uh, 50 mm in the positive z direction so 50 divided by 1000 is 0 0.05 so we need to travel 0 0.05 in the positive k direction and then once we reach here then we need to travel this small 10 mm distance in the negative x direction so 10 mm divided by 1000 is 0 0.01 so 0 0.01 in the negative i direction. So this is the position vector or the moment arm of that force f from O to A. Now we need to take the cross product. So for that we have to write these two vectors as a determinant of a matrix. So this is i, j and k. And this is minus 0 0.01, 0 0.2. 0 0.05 and then this is this f vector is 17.32 i minus 10 and 0 k since its k component is 0. So now this is 
m o vector and then we have to hide this row and this column and then we have to consider this uh, sub matrix and then with i we have to write plus sign with j we have to write minus and this is plus so plus i and 0 0.2 into 0 so 0 minus minus 10 into uh, 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 and then minus j or minus j we have to consider this sub matrix so this is minus 0 0.01 into 0 so that is 0 minus 17.32 into 0 0.05 and then we will consider this sub matrix with positive k so positive k into this will become uh, minus into minus plus and 0 0.01 into 10 is 0 0.1 minus 17.32 into 0 0.2 so this gives us uh, minus into minus plus and 10 into 0 0.05 so 10 into 0 0.05 will give us 0 0.5 so this is 0 0.5 i then this is minus into minus plus this minus into minus plus and 17.32 into 0 0.05 this gives us 0 0.866 j 0 0.866 j and then plus this is 0 0.1 0 0.1 minus 17.32 into 0 0.2 this gives us minus 3.364 so this is minus 3.364 k so this is the moment vector and its units are in newton meters since we have converted the units of mm into meters and the force is given in newtons this is in newtons remember so now we can draw this vector uh, here uh, at point o so this vector is 0 point, 0 0.5 in the positive i so let's say this is 0 0.5 in the positive i then 0 0.866 in the positive j this is 0 0.866 in the positive j and then in the negative z that is 3.3 .3, so somewhere here let's say so then if we add these three components by head to tail rule so they will give us this resultant so this is that resultant mo vector and if we curl our right hand fingers around this mo vector in such a way so that our right hand thumb should point out in this direction so that will be the uh, overall moment which this 20 newton force is going to produce about this point o so if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out along this mo vector so this is the moment direction about this mo vector now in the problem statement we are asked to find uh, the co coordinate direction angles of this mo vector are the axis of this mo vector so we have to find we have to find this angle alpha with the positive x axis this will be angle alpha then with the positive y axis we have to find this angle beta and then with the positive z axis we have to find this angle gamma so so first of all we have to find mo magnitude so mo magnitude this will be equal to 0 0.5 square the square of this component magnitude plus the square of this 0 0.866 square plus the magnitude of this the square of the magnitude of this 3.364 square and then we will take the square root so this will give us the magnitude 0 0.5 square plus 0 0.866 square plus 3.364 square this gives us 3.509 or we can say that this is 3. Point, let's write it till three decimal places so this is 3.509 newton meter now we know that cos of alpha this cos of alpha is equal to the the mx component magnitude divided by the mo magnitude so this is mx this is mox or mx right let's say this is mox so mox magnitude is 0 0.5 divided by 3.509 and if you want to find that alpha angle so that will be 
cos inverse of this ratio so that is 0 0.5 divided by 3.509 so cos inverse 0 0.5 divided by 3.509 this gives us alpha angle equals to 81.81 so this is 81.81 degrees so this alpha angle is 81.81 now we can write that cos of beta is equal to this y component that is 0 0.866 divided by the mo magnitude which is 3.509 so from this we can write that beta is cos inverse of this ratio so cos inverse again cos inverse and that is 0 0.866 this gives us 75.71 so beta is 75.71 degrees and similarly we can find gamma so cos of gamma will be equal to this minus 3.364 divided by mo magnitude which is 3.509 and if you want to find gamma so we have to take cos inverse so that is cos inverse of this ratio that is cos inverse minus 3.364 so this gives us 163.47 so gamma is 163.47 degrees this is gamma this is alpha and this is beta so now this alpha angle is 81.81 this beta is 75.71 degrees and gamma is 163.47 Four seven degrees and this is the direction of mo and this is mo vector so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if you haven't done it yet